Hey guys, it's Steven from Malanine Guitars. Welcome to the Luthier Shop. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the advantages of making your own custom bone nut. We're going to show you our process, what tools we use, and how to replace the old nut on your guitar with the brand new bone nut you've just made. Let's get started. First, we begin by loosening the strings. You can use a fret hammer to gently tap the nut to break its bond from the glue. Clean out the remaining glue with the razor blade or box cutting blade. With your calipers, find the width of your nut slot and score the bone blank with its teeth. With the flattest side of a ruler, mark the surface with an F for front or fretboard. Score the other faces of the nut for the width and mark the grooves with the fine point pencil. Then you should score the length by measuring the nut slot. You can sand down the height afterwards. Follow your safety instructions when using your belt sander. The larger surfaces can be sanded down on the belt part of the machine, beginning with the height. When you're getting close, turn off the machine to sand the back of the nut to maintain a snug fit in the nut slot. Pull the strings aside with some tape, and tape in front and behind of the nut as well. Wind up both E-strings with enough tension to keep them in place. Both strings should be an eighth inch of each of the nut's edges. Remember to measure twice and cut once. Loosen the strings and measure the other string paths by measuring the distance of the two lines and divide that number by five. Or just use a Stumax string spacing ruler. A strip of leather further protects the headstock from the file. Cutting a carpenter's pencil in half is useful for marking how high the frets are, so as to not cut too deep into the bone. Rock the nut file back and forth slowly on the line of either ends, with slow passes to make the initial cuts. Hold the file as level to the fretboard as possible. Repeat this process going down the line. You can apply attention on the strings to check your work. From here, you can now move on to your setup. After completing your setup, you can now move to the final shaping and polish of your nut. Be sure the disc is at a 90 degree angle. Round the outside edges using the disc and then behind the nut with the belt. You should have a professional clean piece when you're done. With the general bastard file, smooth over your rough edges to give it a shine. Reflect the nut on some light to check your work. With the nut snug in place, you may now tune a pitch and work in your setup. I also want to add that we offer a wide range of in-house services if you're in the surrounding Los Angeles area. If you found this video helpful in any way, please remember to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us as we continue to make more videos for you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.